Welcome to my podcast, Doing Business with a Servant's Heart. I'm so excited you are here. You will hear some incredible stories about how people are serving around the world, how they overcame a struggle, how they serve. These shows will give you an edge in business and your personal life. I believe serving over sales will help you grow in so many ways. And now, about our incredible sponsor, Info. Info is a web app that puts your business on people's cell phones when you meet people online or in person. They can engage with your business or send out referrals with a button click 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The power of business is connecting with more people. Remember, your network is your net worth. Info will do this for you. I would love to help spread the word about these shows, so please subscribe to this podcast and find us on all your podcast platforms. Please share with anyone you know who could benefit from our shows. Please enjoy the show. Welcome, everybody. We're back to another episode of Doing Business with a Servant's Heart. And I'm excited and very pumped to have my new my new guest on the show. Christy has a huge background. She's a veteran, and we want to thank her right off the top for her service. Um, but sh- uh, Christy, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You bet. So let's start from the you know from the military side. You know, I know we talked previously, and let's kind of get into that a little bit and your story with that. Well, what can I tell you? So um, I joined the military because I wanted to travel the world. I wanted uh, a different experience and Mm -hmm. I definitely wanted to get out of El Paso. Um, When I was living in El Paso way back in the 80s, minimum wage was $3.25. and You're not gonna uh, be able to do anything with $3.25, and right? So uh, I wanted bigger and better opportunities and that's what the military offered. I ended up choosing the Navy. And then in turn, I ended up uh, stationed with the Marines as a medic. And I love veterans in business and I hope more do it because of the discipline and all that you learn, which a lot of people struggle with when they start a business. How is your service helped you in your business. You have two businesses we'll get into. Can you give us some tips on how it's helped you get to where you are today? Well, it's always a matter of commitment, whether you want to do it or not, right? So you just commit to doing something and you accomplish the mission. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's really it. Right? It's, it's pretty simple. It's not simple doing it, but you simplified it for everybody, at least in their head. It's, and that's important. Right. But take action too. And that's what I love. That's what military, all the veterans I've talked to, they take action when they've got passion. And that's that's a big feather in their cap, in your cap as well. Um, let's get into the veterans and the DFW uh, chamber, veterans chamber. I'll make sure that's correct. Did you start it and why did it get started? And what's the mission for the chamber? So uh, the chamber started out of COVID. I was already the leader of a veteran in-person networking group. So when we, um, when the world closed, I had my group of people jump on Zoom and we started kind of strategizing what were we going to do? How are we going to continue to put food on the table, right? And um, that's where the veteran chamber idea came about. So really two weeks into COVID, I had done uh, research about a veteran chamber. I submitted the paperwork to the state and I called everybody that I knew and I said, I'm starting a chamber do you want to join? And they all said yes. So then I said, okay, well, we can't run a business without money. So I'm going to charge you $200. (laughs) So (laughs) they all said, okay, done. And I drove around to their mailboxes, picked up the checks, um, called several banks, uh, found one that would let me open up an account um, through the drive-thru, deposited the money, And then I spent about three full solid 18 hour days creating the website, the structure, what we were going to offer. Then I called a bunch of my veteran friends and I said, do you want to be a board member? I need board members. (laughs) So they said yes. And then we just took off running and we are starting our fourth year. 
So we have over 110 members now, and we have not really looked back. Congratulations. That's for networking groups. That's good. And have a good number like that. Walk us through um, how the chamber works and, you know, meetings. And so I've been veteran. I come and join the chamber. You know, what am I going to look forward to? What's my journey through it? The okay. chamber. Well, we do love our Patriot supporters. So anybody that wants to do business in our community uh, is welcome to also join our chamber. Um, and what is the journey? We we differ from any other chamber. So other chambers are very focused on networking and also the large corporate businesses. Yeah. We are focused, our niche product is really our small uh, middle class um, uh, veteran businesses because that's really what keeps our world moving, right? So the middle class is the backbone of our country. So that's really who I'm interested in making sure that we keep our country moving. And we offer membership perks. What that means is that if you're looking to start a business, we have um, information on how to incorporate your business, how to create your, your business plan, your business card, your 30 and 60 second elevator pitch so that you network correctly, how to present your business in the right way, how to network correctly. Because it's one thing to attend a networking meeting and it's another thing to actually know how to network, right? And then how to give referrals, how to ask for referrals, make sure that you have testimonials. If you're already, um, up and running, right, and you're starting to grow your business, then you're going to need other resources such as your HR or your um, different benefit um, things to offer mm -hmm. your employees, right? So we have those affiliations as well. So then if all that is in place and you say, okay, I need to focus on marketing, we have marketing strategies that are free to our members how to do your quarterly promotions, how to gauge if they're being successful. If you want to start like your email campaigns, we have a class on that. Your social media strategies for the year, mm -hmm. right, as well. And then part of that is your personal development because you cannot uh, reach the next level of business unless you yourself is growing as well personally, right? Because then other yeah. things start to fall um, through the cracks. So your personal yeah. life will suffer, your family, um, your physical life, right? So if you're just focused on one thing, so then how do you combine and balance everything? So that's how we differ from any other chamber. And those chambers have their place and their time. And I do encourage people to belong to different organizations. But if you are wanting to be truly successful, then that's what we offer. Sounds like DFW is big in education. Yes. And that's a big difference. I've seen other chambers. And like you said, it's okay, but that's unique from what I experienced in chambers. And I would assume veterans need a lot of help starting a business because they've never done it. And having those resources, you really help them grow their business and, and get started the right way. Right. So our statistics, I mean, we're really not different than any other person, right? But yeah. our statistics, what they show, the data shows, is that our veterans come out of the military, they transition, they go through about seven iterations of different jobs, trying to find their place. And then at the end of that, they go, okay, I'm going to start a business. And then they jump right into business. And I'm not saying that civilians don't do the same thing because they we're, we're people, we, we have that in common, right? Yeah. But that's my niche is helping our veteran community stay in business and be successful. And, and can non-veterans join the DFW? Yes, we love our Patriot supporters. So anybody that wants to do business in our community is welcome to join us. Yeah, you did say Patriot supporters. I missed that, but I'm glad I asked again because I'm sure somebody listening would like to help veterans. I know there's a lot of people out there um, to help. And you're right. I, I'm going to go back to what you just said. You, veterans are people too. They've just yeah. been through a different experience than us, but treat them like people. I'm going to go out on a limb here and just say, please treat them like anybody else. Love them, support them, serve them, do business service. Like That's why I have you on the show because you're a perfect love the servants that you do what you just explained now what's interesting with the chamber is we segue into your other business 
which is, you know, Dragonfly. I, I want to say it, Blue, Blue Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Yes. And to say it correctly, let's talk about that and, and how it fits into the chamber as well. Well, uh, my bachelor's degree is actually in graphic design and uh -huh. I was a statistics, right? So I um, came out of the military, got married, became a stay-at-home mom, raised my kids, got divorced. And then I found myself going through the exact same steps that a fresh um, transitioning veteran uh, takes. So I went through about seven jobs. And at the end of that journey, I said, well, I'm just going to start my own business. I have skills in graphic design. Yeah. So I started as a graphic designer. And from there, I grew my business, right? And I think the first five years were extremely hard because I didn't know how to run a business. So I really had to learn uh, from all of my mistakes and then just being determined to make it work, right? Um, I did have to have like a couple part-time jobs to make ends meet while mm -hmm. my business was taken off and, and that kind of stuff. So when I put the chamber together, I decided to learn from the mistakes that I had and give our community the resources that I felt I needed that I had to go out and find on my own. You didn't recreate the wheel. You, here's the wheel I've made, guys and gals. And I love that. That's my dad used to say that all the time when I was a kid. Don't recreate the wheel. If it's done, just do it. And I exactly. love that. Because exactly. That's a lot of value to that. And now one question that came to my head is this is these are virtual meetings. So anybody in the United States can join your DFW chamber? Yes, we meet weekly on Fridays. We uh on okay. Zoom. Uh, we do have five in-person networking events uh, throughout the Metroplex, the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. So anybody uh, can come in person and do those networking face-to-face. Uh, -face. But we do meet weekly on Zoom just because we're so spread around um, that we don't really... It would be hard to find a centrally located location, yeah. right? And then at that time, then you would be excluding the people that are in California or yeah. Florida or Wisconsin. And I don't want to do a hybrid. You spend more time trying to figure out the technology than having the meeting. So we're we're so just true. on Zoom. Yeah. You're definitely an expert. Yes. Because that's so true. It's you spend so much time setting up, you're not helping people. Um and and going to Dallas. It's a beautiful place to go. What a great place to visit and meet all your people that you're meeting with on Fridays. Yeah. So with veterans, and we know all the statistics and stuff, what's happening with them. Do you have a great story of a vet or two that you could share with the audience that you've helped through the DF Chamber and maybe with your business? Um, Blue Dragonfly. Did I say it? Yes. Blue Dragonfly. Yeah. Make sure I say it right. Yes. Because yes. I love hearing stories how veterans have been helped. I do. I have uh, one which is near and dear to my heart. So David Jordan is an army vet veteran and he was homeless for about six months. And um, his cousin actually brought him to Dallas when um, helped him get on his feet and he was looking for a job and he started working. And that's right around the time when I met David and uh, he had he started a nonprofit for homeless veterans because he had been homeless. He had been able to get out of that. And so he wanted to help other veterans. And I knew him for about a, three years. So I started helping him out. I built his um, nonprofit website free of charge because I just wanted to, to do it because I really um, liked him. I liked his spirit. He's a very hard worker. And um, so I started helping him with, with that project. So a couple of years later, he started a sandwich, a deli shop here in wow. the Dallas in Denton. So it's called Patriot Sandwich Company. So then I built his website, his social media uh, marketing. And David has been doing amazingly well with that. He's been able to help um, homeless veterans through that um, deli. He makes the best sandwiches in town. And now he has grown enough to where he is actually selling the sauces, his, uh, sauce creation from start. Like I tasted all of his sandwiches. I've tasted the different sauces. And now he's selling those. So I did all the the, the mock-up labels for those products. So I think that for me, um, that is the best 
story that I, that I can give because I've seen David from when he just got out of being homeless to now being himself a business owner. And, and thriving and succeeding. Yes. What a powerful story. And, and listeners, homeless, can't get any deeper than that. Yes. And now, so because he is selling his uh, sauces, they can be shipped anywhere in the country. And then let's shout out that. Let's give him a shout out. Uh, how can they get those sauces? They can just go visit his website, which is patriotsandwichcompany.com. Challenge to you listeners, mention Doing Business with Servants Heart podcast. And Christy, when you do that, I'm sure David would appreciate that. And it's just, I, my head's exploding. Like, how, how crazy. I hear people complain about an employee didn't show up for work today and their, their business is going to go under. And here's a guy that's thriving from homelessness. Yes. But here's what Servants all about. So you've paid it forward to David. Now, David's paying forward to other people as well. I want to... Yes. And what's, what's been that result? Well, um, because he's done several, um, fundraising projects. Mm -hmm. So for example, during Christmas, so starting in early, like right after Thanksgiving, he does a, um, he puts products together for the homeless so they can donate like uh, sleeping bags and backpacks and, and all sorts of um, what is it? Toiletries for, for the homeless. And then he'll deliver them um, during certain times of the holidays. He'll, he'll do buy one sandwich, donate one to the homeless, and then he'll put those together and then he'll go out and um, give them out to, to the homeless veterans. So he's able to do a lot more than what he was doing before. Never forget where you came from. That's exactly. so powerful. Um, I, would, I had a great question that came in my head. I was just thinking about David. Oh, I was going to ask you. So this is what the DFW chamber does. This is one of many stories. He was part of the, He's part of the chamber, became yes. part of the chamber. You probably have tons of stories. I don't want to, we don't have time to get in all of them when we put them in the show notes, but do you think you're making an impact? I know we're making an impact. We had, um, and I won't mention his name, but we have mm -hmm. a, a veteran um, chamber member who is very, very active in our chamber. And he actually called me maybe about a month ago and he's been with us for over a year now. Mm -hmm. And he called me about a month or two ago, and he just wanted to let me know that he was struggling. And it was because of the chamber and because of the friendship that he has found in our chamber, um, he was able to overcome his struggles, and he had a new uh, zest for life. So I know we are making a difference. That's... Uh, Man, I can hear those stories all day. I'm sure my listeners can as well. Well, let's do a shout out for you. How can they get a hold of you? Find out more about um, Blue Dragonfly or the DFW Chamber. How can they reach you? Well, for the Chamber, they can go to dfwveteranschamber.org. If they want to email me, it's just info at dfwveteranschamber.org. For my personal business is blue, B-L-U, dragonfly.net, or they can email me at Christy, C-R-I-S-T-I-E, at blue dragonfly.net. That's awesome. And blue and without an E, kind of like Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go, Bluetooth. That's a great way. Yeah, You'll never it, forget it, that. It, right, it's blue <laughs> like Bluetooth um, because it was digital, right? So yeah. Very yeah. cool, I love that. See, she's a marketing queen. Look at that. Let's talk about your journey. It's been a crazy journey for you. And I'm so happy and so God bless you that you are where you are today. But have, there's any books that come to mind that the audience can read to help them? Has it helped you? Yes. So I love philosophy. So, um, mm. well, actually, two two things do come to mind. One is always the Bible. 
So mm -hmm. the book of Psalms and the book of Psalms in particular, because King David suffered from severe PTSD, anxiety, night terrors, you know, nightmares. And when you read the book of Psalms, you can see um, what he suffered with in a time when there was no medical help, whether with prescription medication or psychological help, right? So how he overcame his challenges and through it all, he praised God. God, right. Yeah. So the, the book of Psalms for veterans is very, very um, important. So always read the Psalms. Mm -hmm. The second book, uh, Marcus Aurelius, uh, he has great insights about life how he overcame the different challenges, how he was disciplined himself, never expecting other people to live up to his expectations, but him setting expectations for himself and then committing to following through. So those are the two books I highly recommend. I, I love it because I read the Daily Stoic every day. Yes, me too. Yeah, oh, I knew you were a sister from another mother and a Seneca too, and we won't get into that. That's a great book too, Bible. Yes. Yes. Best business book in the world. I'm going to say it on air to the thousands because I it's changed my life. Um, you know, we're running out of time here. I, I want to thank you, Christy. I want to thank what you're doing. You came from the military. You know it all, but you're giving back. You're serving not only military and veterans, but everybody. I want to thank you and God bless you for doing that. And thank you for being on the show and sharing your story and David's story because I think that's important for people to learn. Again, What's your email? They can shout out to you and reach you. Yeah. So my email is Christy at bluedragonfly.net or for the chamber is info at dfwveteranschamber.org. I'm going to use her line blue like Bluetooth. I love it. And I'm going to borrow that when I get a chance. That's awesome. So let's leave the audience. We're coming to the end here. I am just learning so much about you and about veterans, but is there one tip that you can give the audience to help them in their journey, whether veterans or not, to help them grow? I always think, how can I leave you better than how I found you? And it could be simply with a smile. 